think we're all really excited. I think going into year two, you know, you have a, well, te technically for me, year three, you have a better understanding of what we're doing, a better understanding of the teams we're going to compete against, the landscape, and uh, you just feel you're a year wiser, and, uh, you know, you have a second-year group of guys here to help the younger guys. I've been preparing myself this year by working myself harder during preseason. I've been going to more preseason tournaments. I actually went to Ohio this past summer to work on my freestyle in Grego, which will actually help me out in folk style. And I've also been training and lifting more in the weight room. Uh, they put in a really good off season. Uh, our numbers were good in the off season. They trained all summer. Uh, our preseason was phenomenal, you know, and just in terms of you know, the amount of effort and the, and, the, and the work that they're willing to do on their own is, is really going to benefit us. And then you know, we have a couple talented freshmen coming in and, you know, have high hopes for themselves. I feel like I could be a leader by doing the simple things on the team, just showing up to practice early, uh, working as hard as I can every day, keeping my grades up, staying and going to study hall, staying, stay going to class, just simple things like that. Yeah, we had our first group go through the grind uh, as freshmen. You know, we didn't have any transfers come in that were older. Uh, you know, we had a, a, a whole group of first-year college wrestlers, and it's eye-opening. It's tough. And it's when to go through that at the college level. It, it's it's hard, uh, it, and it's it's tough on them. And, and to go through that, now they're ready. Now they have the experience, and um, you know, I think they're they're motivated and and they know the system. My goal is for an individual level is a national champion. I just got to keep working toward that, and for the team, I just want us to be a positive, have a positive percentage this year. Yeah, our, our, we plan on being at the national tournament on day two with guys on the, on the podium, and that's what we train for. Uh, unfortunately, you know, as a, as a coach, I don't put a, you know, I, and I, it's probably something I do, um, you know, wrongly, and I should improve, but I don't put a lot of stock into our dual meets, you know, throughout the year. The dual meets are for learning. The tournaments are for learning. You know, all year long, we are learning as a team. You're learning to compete. You're learning to grind. You're learning to get better. And uh, I look at the win-loss record to see how many kids accomplish their goals at the end of the year. Uh, and so we go on paper, whether we have some kids that want to be national champions, we have kids that want to be an All-Americans, we have kids that just want to win a college match. And somewhere in the middle, we have to help them all accomplish their goals, and that's what that's what the season's all about. But you know, as a team, at the end of the year, we... Uh, we have high lofty goals. You know, we want to place high at the regional tournament. We feel we have five or six guys that can go compete at the national tournament. Uh, if we get there, we get there. If we don't, we don't. But at the end of the year, the, the plan is to have guys, uh, you know, we, we want all Americans.